Hello and welcome back to another EDC Sunday. I know that it's been quite a while since I've done an EDC Sunday and an even longer time since I've done a pocket dump. So today we're going to do that. So why don't you grab your favorite beverage and sit back and enjoy as I tell you what my new 2024 carry is going to be. And hopefully you'll enjoy it or maybe get some ideas or even maybe later on give me some ideas on what maybe I should or shouldn't carry. Now, whether you're new or old to EDC, I think all of you could appreciate a little bit more intent, intent on what I'm going to be carrying in 2024. I'm trying to make this just as minimal as possible and cut it down to just the very few things that I need and or like to carry. And this list will differ within it uh, depending on whether it's something that I'm doing for my full-time job, whether we're going out or whether I'm just staying home and I will let you know what the differences are between those as we go through each and every one of them. So first and foremost is my phone. Now I know that we're connected to these things 24 hours a day, seven days a week and it's not always the greatest thing, but I do consider it one of those necessary evils. When you're talking about a phone, I know there's a lot of controversy back and forth between whether Android is better or Apple is better. And in my opinion, I carry the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And there's a, several reasons why I carry this one mainly what turned me on to it was the photography, videography, and the editing behind it, the capabilities that it had with the integrated software. It, to me, had an advantage over the Android devices when you combine everything all together because there are times that I'll actually use this for my thumbnails or even some of my videos and I'll edit straight from my phone and upload right from there. So that was a huge advantage over the things that I had seen with previous Android devices that I had. They were somewhat limiting. They weren't quite as adaptable as I wanted them to be. And Apple provided that for me. Now, the other part of it is that I believe and this is my opinion, that Apple does a much better job of integrating devices than Android does. And when I say integrating devices, I'm talking about my earbuds, my smartwatch, which also is an Apple, we'll get into that later, and even the connectivity with my radio and my Jeep. All of these things worked so much better when I switched over to Apple than when I was on Android. I just think that Apple has that on lock. I mean, as, as far as integrating devices, there is not a better system out there than the iOS. Apple, I, I gotta hand it to you. You guys did it. It's, it's, it, it works perfect. I have never had an issue with it. So you can debate whether you know, Apple or Android is better all day long between all of y'all, but I, I'm, 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 I'm on the Apple camp now. I, I'm not a fanboy, but I am leaning that way. So it definitely has its advantages. Next on my list is something when I'm working, I do not leave home without. It is a necessary part of my kit. And that is earbuds. And the earbuds I like are the Skull Candy Indie ANCs. Now there's several reasons why I like these. Uh, mainly the the amount of features you get with 
the skull candies and their overall price these are about eighty dollars and to me that's already a plus in skull candies camp because that's about two-thirds the price or a third the price of what a, a pair of airpods would be plus the sound quality is to me to my ears is amazing they also when i use these at work i'll use one at a time right to left and back and forth and i will get upwards of 11 hours off of these and then when using the case which also does charging i can get even more battery life than even that 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 in itself is is worth it's worth the price it just it just is plus you have tap to talk features you have um, automatic noise canceling with these they also have an app that you can download which m most good earbuds have an app of some sort and in there you can set up a personal eq you can switch between music podcast and streaming services as far as the different eq settings based on your own personal listening preferences and what your ears are actually hearing so these things are absolutely amazing i i i know that there's a newer version of these which are called the rail and eventually i'll probably upgrade to those but i won't do it until these actually die and i've had these for at least two years with absolutely no is issue check down in my descriptions i have an affiliate link for these so that will help you if you want to get a little bit of a discount and you know help support the channel so i can keep doing this kind of shit for you so but definitely check these out i think they're more than worth the squeeze. I mean, just, plus they're cool as shit. They got a skull on them. I mean, how do you beat that? That's, that's, it's cool. Also part of my EDC is a minimalist wallet. Actually, I, I get two of them because I liked the one so much I bought a second one. It just seemed right. I mean, when I found these on Amazon, they're about $12 and they're real leather and they're about as simple, minimalistic of a wallet that you can get. Plus they're made in the USA. They are the hide and drink minimalist wallet. And it's just one piece of leather that wraps around with two rivets that hold it together. These wallets will hold, uh, I think I got maybe four or five, maybe six cards in here and a little bit of cash. It, it stretches and to fit. So everything is held in there nice and tight. Plus they patina so nicely. I mean, this one is the one I carry every day, regardless of work or not. And this is what it looked like when it started out. So it's gotten nice and dark. The, the oil for my hands has got in there and really patinaed it nicely so that it, it's nice and worn and really soft. It's, it's, it's just an excellent wallet. I love the way it looks and it's got everything that I want and nothing that I don't need. So. This is absolutely perfect for about 12 bucks on Amazon. I picked up a couple. The other is for my business cards for when I'm at work. I mean, why not? You know, it, it still works. I probably got 50 cards in here. Uh, maybe, maybe 25. It works for both. So this is definitely something to look into. I've tried others. Uh, other minimalist wallets some of them are similar to the ridge wallets that you see everybody that's in love with those but i wanted something more even more simple than that and at the cost you just you just can't go wrong with something like that so hide and drink look it up now to keep that man maintained i carry with me 
a wooden comb. Pretty basic, I, I get it, you know, it's simple. In high school, we all used to carry that plastic comb in our back pocket, but this is specifically designed with wider teeth and a very soft tooth on it to comb through the beard so that it doesn't pull or, or yank out hairs. And the other thing I liked about this one especially, which this one was actually given to me, so I don't have a whole lot of detail on it, can tell you how much they were, who makes it, but you can find them in different, you know, beard supply companies, and they'll they'll have something like this. But what I liked about this is over time it has soaked up some of the beard oil and, and utility balms that I'll use in my beard, and helps kind of even soften it throughout the day as I comb through. It just it just helps to maintain that that nice soft look of and feel of my beard. So this is definitely, this goes in my pocket no matter whether I'm at work or we go out for dinner or it's close by even when I'm just at home relaxing. So definitely, if you've got a beard, you want to get a wooden beard comb. So something, something to think about. The next is kind of a two-parter. Um, but it's in the same category. And that's watches. If you're not carrying some sort of a watch with you or wearing some sort of a watch, what are you doing? I mean, yeah, you get it on your phone, but it's a whole lot easier to check your wrist, then where's my phone at, all that kind of stuff. And yes, I do have a smartwatch, and yes, it is an Apple watch. It's a Apple Series 8, I believe. And I, I wear this one for work purposes. That way I can answer a text or answer a call through it if I need be, if I need to. Um, I can also check emails, updates, things like that, a lot quicker and faster using the Apple Watch that I can than trying to dig for it in my pocket, figure that out, and it, it, just, it just works out a lot better that way. So yes, I do have a smart watch. All those that would think that I wouldn't, I do. So there, I mean, I'm, I'm connected enough throughout the day. I didn't think that I would need that, but it does help. So there's that. Now, the other one that I wear is this. This is the Orient Mako with an orange dial. And this watch is even though I've got several, this is probably the, my favorite in my collection. Uh, it's nice and sturdy. It's got a nice feel and weight to it. This is a true automatic. So it doesn't require batteries. It, I mean, it's, it's actually a Seiko movement inside. Orient is kind of a a subdivision of Seiko, even though they are their own company, but there's, look it up, you'll, you'll see what I'm getting at. But this one has a day date display, and how do you beat that? Thing's got an orange face, man, that's just cool. And this was around 150 bucks. So for a true automatic at 150 bucks, Orient is really, really hard to beat when it comes to their style, quality, and value. And I am a huge fan. Uh, my next watch is probably gonna be another Orient. 
probably maybe a different style at the very least different dial face color but yeah they're they're really hard to beat so check into orient get yourself a wristwatch and you know add a little style and class to your look i just think that a, a quote unquote real watch says a little bit more about the person who wears it they they care a little bit more they don't feel like they need to be as connected to social media and I, I understand the irony or maybe the hypocrisy of me telling you that you don't need to be connected on social media when I'm telling you on social media I, I, ironic isn't it but you know hey so check into check into an orient watch i don't think you'll be disappointed another edc item that i think that everyone should carry and this is not just because i smoke cigars but that is a zippo lighter Love a Zippo um, because the, the the cheap plastic ones they'll 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 let you down they'll, they'll run out they'll break they'll jam there's all kinds of failure points in them and yeah I get it they're cheap I do have some but they're not my go-to these are my go-to I have a couple of them. one is just a regular Zippo. This one actually um, is, I had bought for cigar. It's dead right now, but I need to fill it. There's a lot of different versions of them. I just buy the simple standard version of them and they're reliable. I, I've never had one fail on me. They, they're, and they're good for everything. I mean, if you've got a thread, you need to burn so it doesn't pull anymore you can burn that off you can melt the ends of paracord you can light a fire with it i've lit, lit my smoker with my zippo and they just have so many uses as a tool up and above the other purpose that i don't know why everybody doesn't have a good lighter i mean when you need flame they're 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 gonna be there for you and they last forever I mean I've heard of these being heirlooms passed down for for generations and they still continue to work no matter how old they are it, it's a it's a it's a fantastic idea to have that in your EDC regardless so definitely definitely have a have a, have a good lighter you know it's a good idea it just is and last but not least there are three items that i carry but only two at a time one of them i don't have with me the other two i do and this one is the one i carry to work with me every day this is the spider co tenacious This knife is robust. It is an absolute workhorse. I was given this by my son several years ago and I take it to work with me. It has never failed me. It, it's easy to sharpen. It just does everything I want it to. I have no fear that I can grab for this and it'll open, it'll cut, it'll just work. It's also very easy to sharpen and it's fairly inexpensive. I think the Tenacious is right around $50. So if I were to break it or lose it, I could easily replace this. 
hopefully I never do lose it. That would upset me since it was a gift. But still, this is something that can be replaced for fairly inexpensive and it just, it just works. You have to think about, you know, the, the, the overall value of what you're getting. And this is, has a huge, huge amount of value to me at least. But the other one, and this is the one I take to work with me. So this, this gets used and abused day in and day out. But the other one I take out when we go out to dinner, to the city, to go shopping, whatever, I will take the Kaiser Mini Roach. This one is just a cool knife. Uh, the, between the black acid etched and patinaed drop point blade and the octagonal, octagonally milled scales, this thing is just cool to look at. And the action on it is superb. It has that huge fidget factor. You can sit there and play with it all day and annoy the shit out of everybody. I just, and probably scare a few people too at the same time, if you're sitting there just doing this, they're gonna kind of wonder about you. And if you do do this for too long, they might be right, you might need some help. So I'm gonna stop. But again, this is also a very robust knife. I just kind of like the way it looks. The ergonomics of it are phenomenal. I did a longer video of this knife and it will, it will be listed in, down in the descriptions. And I also have a playlist of other EDC and that will come up at the end of this video. So be sure to check all those videos out. But again, another, another favorite knife of mine. It just, it's it's a fantastic knife that it's it's found its way into my rotation the majority of the time at least you know outside of work so it's it's definitely a knife to look at and the other knife which i don't have it with me i have a vitornox um, swiss army knife it's just a little tiny one it's on my keychain that particular one has a knife a file scissors, a toothpick, and tweezers. So that has also come in very handy at times. And it, 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 it's so tiny, it, it, it's like it's nothing on your keychain. So for around 20 bucks, it's, it's easily one of the nicest knives to carry because you almost forget about it. Just don't forget about it if you're going to the airport because I really doubt that the TSA would like seeing that and you might get in trouble at the very least you'll lose it but uh, it's best to just leave it at home consider that when when buying it so that is my 2024 edc carry and if there is anything that you think that i should carry or shouldn't be carrying if there's something i've missed if there's questions that you have about what I carry uh, or what else I carry because there are several other things that I do carry from time to time but not all the time and one that we won't go into uh, I think you know where I'm going with that um, YouTube kind of doesn't like talk about that so if there's any of those let me know down in the comments and we can have a discussion on it Please also let me know what it, what EDC you carry, if my tongue will work. 
and let me know that down in the description as well and that's something we can talk about and learn more about the things that other people carry it's i think it's i think it's useful we can all benefit from it so again i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video and as always long ashes and full glasses to each and every one of you and we'll see you in the next video yeah that kaiser man that's that was another gift that actually my son that bought me the tenacious he also bought me this one for christmas a couple years ago and yeah i mean just listen to that that thing just snaps open it it almost it almost flies out of your hand it's so snappy uh, it's good it's on ball bearings i mean this is this is a cool freaking knife if, you know, if you like pocket knives Dude, it just looks badass. I mean, look at that. Look at that. If you want to see more of it, I've got another video. Check that one out. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye.